Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Sagittarius, this is going to be a reading for you for the month of August or the first week of August because I will be doing these readings weekly. But let's go ahead and tap into your energy for love at this time. I'm only currently doing love readings. So let's see what we have for you. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. What are the messages for Sagittarius? First week of August. This is the overall energy. We have bravery coming out. Bravery with pressure at the bottom of the deck. Transformation. Something is changing here due to some type of pressure to change. Somebody's having the courage, the bravery to make this change. She's crossing the ocean. That's what it says, ocean bravery. Somebody's facing their fears here to be able to transform or change something. All right, let's get another card. And I'm also hearing Diamond in the Rough. Somebody's um, going through that process of transformation and it could be difficult. Just like when a diamond is being pressed or coal is being pressed into a diamond. We got hollow bone teachability. Yeah, learning some lessons here, even though it's difficult. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got deep diver. Diving into a task. So somebody's really focused on some type of transformation within themselves. For a lot of you guys, this could be with your health. I'm seeing for some of you guys, you're transforming your body. Sprinkle a little bit of kipper on here. Let's see what it do. Help give us more context. Context in the life of Sag. Love life of Sagittarius. What can we expect? Woo, we got despair coming out. Nobody likes to see that. Let me move these over despair at the bottom of the deck we got great fortune huh that is weird let's get into this tarot and see what's going on we're going to do a six card spread for you there could be something that someone is very sad about Something ending, something changing in a relationship dynamic that's maybe causing someone else to change within themselves. It's a forced change, but somebody's having the courage to move forward here to be able to be brave enough to make this change. I'm also hearing that song, I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. Y'all know I can't sing. Look, I'm not going to do this with y'all. Who sings that? Vanessa Williams? I don't know. Look, let's get into your spread. Something someone's doing could be difficult or hard, challenging, but they're, they're wanting to do this because they're in despair without somebody. We got the High Priest. This is the first card coming out. We have the Strength card coming out. Two Major Arcana. We have the Sun coming out. Three Major Arcana Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. You could be dealing with the Earth sign here. We have the Queen of Cups coming out. Somebody with highly aspect or highly aspected earth and water and then the tower the fourth major arcana wow a lot of major changes happening here knight of pentacles in reverse something that was slowed down or stopped here
Something stopped is what I'm getting. It's not even moving anymore. It was going slow already, but now it's not even moving. There's, and this is, this is that pressure that we're seeing here. Something is being forced on somebody right here. A forced change. And this could, there could be something that happened, something that broke down that's forcing someone to change here. In a relationship dynamic. Someone's seeing the light on what it is that they need to do to be able to move forward. Yeah, somebody is having the strength and courage to follow their intuition towards something. And this is going to lead to great fortune. And I don't mean just fortune as in money, but a fortunate situation. Something going in your favor. Because somebody is definitely in despair right now. All right, let's clarify this tower. What happened? Why did this tower fall? We got the king and queen of pentacles coming out. So this was a long-term relationship that something broke down. The love broke down or the way that somebody was getting loved some, or the way somebody was receiving love. There was a disconnect in giving and receiving love here. Yeah, the burden fell on this uh, masculine energy here. The person who was supposed to be given long-term stability, love, that seems to have been a burden for this person, which caused the relationship to break down here. Why is this Queen of Cups here? We have the Eight of Cups. Now this Queen of Cups is thinking about withdrawing her love, walking away from the situation. Show me the Eight of Cups. There could have been a breakdown in communication as well. This feminine energy, the person who is wanting to receive here that might not have been receiving, might have been too giving, they're withdrawing communication here. Somebody could be giving someone the silent treatment. There could also be financial issues here. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles coming out. That is, if that ain't financial issues. So I'm getting like this feminine energy might have lost their job or work position. And this has caused some type of strain on the masculine energy causing the, the home life or the stability of the partnership to fall apart. Show me the five of pentacles. If someone didn't lose their job or their financial footing or standing, someone, this feminine energy is just feeling abandoned by this masculine. But the masculine is probably not giving to the situation like they used to because there's some type of burden on this person. What is this Ten of Wands on the King of Pentacles? What is the burden? Yeah, this person's holding back, holding on to money, possibly... This person doesn't seem to be able to give. This masculine energy could have had some other something else happen here to where they had to leave or walk away. This feminine energy is feeling abandoned and betrayed and left out, left without wanting. Come in the sun. We have the strength card coming out again. So definitely could be dealing with the Leo here with the sun, the strength card twice. So that's definitely Leo energy. Or this is something that's going to be playing out in Leo season. What else for Sagittarius? The seven of pentacles.
I do feel like somebody's reestablishing or getting their footing back here. They're ready to move on to more joyous times after this setback. Somebody's ready to go the distance here. Somebody's being brave to be able to move forward in this situation. Somebody is ready to put in the effort or work, even though it's a lot of pressure or a lot of both parties could be wanting to do this. Let's straighten it out. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Teachability. Yeah, somebody's learning how to straighten something out. This could be like the first real issue that this relationship has gone through. And it's very tough to get through it. But I'm seeing somebody does want to work through it. Again, there could have been some financial issues that caused some type of breakdown in communication and uh, reciprocity of love or affection. Somebody might have just been trying to hold the family afloat and didn't have time to give that emotional affection or it was so burdensome that they were catching an attitude or being cranky or not being so loving and affectionate and this caused this other person to feel left out or feel like this person doesn't love them. But I'm seeing like somebody wants to go the distance still. We got the Ten of Pentacles coming out with the strength card. This is all talking about being able to go the distance. Having the strength, willpower, and courage to move forward for longevity purposes. I also do see the money getting better here in this situation. Whatever whatever hardship this family was going through, there is going to be an increase. Somebody's going to reap what the hard work that they put in this masculine over here. And that could be the effort and hard work that they put into rebuilding this connection as well. Not everybody's having financial issues. Yeah, someone doesn't see that this is going to be coming in. After an indecision of whether or not to move forward in this, I feel like somebody is making that call to be able to do that. There could be some fertility issues here showing up with someone as well. Um, that could have been a problem that somebody was trying to overcome. That's also a message that's uh, that I'm receiving. Perhaps this masculine could not do the do. <laughs> or the feminine couldn't. So somebody could be wanting a child and that could be the progression of the relationship and that just wasn't happening. And we, then we have the Ace of Swords here. Somebody's intuition is beckoning them. Yeah, that, that they need to keep moving forward here. Make it work. Instead of throwing in the towel. Yeah, it's going to be successful. That's the truth. If you put the effort and work into this, even though it's pressure, after that coal has been under pressure so long, it becomes a diamond. This is going to strengthen you guys' relationship. I do see that there's some, um, possibly some selfish, selfishness here that somebody's been dealing with, self-centeredness here, or there is some outside influence here. But spirit is all over the situation, guiding you guys. All right. But something's got to give here. Somebody's got to stop doing something. All right, let's put some of these romance angels on the situation. I'm actually only going to do one. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart. At the bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. So yeah, something is worth waiting for here. It's sticking the situation out, seeing if it gets better. It's worth it. Waiting to see if somebody's going to improve. I'm hearing that Monica song, Before You Walk Out of My Life. This, this reading, is the whole message over this whole reading is that somebody needs to dive deeper into themselves, hold on, have the courage to persevere and move forward in this relationship, and they're going to see the rewards of doing that. Somebody's commitment is being tested here. 
and somebody could be at an impasse whether or not this can move forward if if they do move forward in this how is it going to turn out and it looks like your intuition is telling you that it's going to turn out just how you want it to it's going to be successful you're going to start back getting the attention that you want the reciprocity that you need somebody's going to start putting in the work putting in the effort what do the angels have to say Listen to your intuition. Sagittarius, you're, that's what I just got through saying. Your intuition is telling you. And ask your angels. Mm -hmm, we just did. All right. Let's see the potential outcome. And this is potential because everybody has free will. But with the trajectory of the energy that we have on the board right now, we're going to see where that could potentially lead. If it stays the same, if things stay as they are, the energy stays as it is, we're going to see where this could end up. Or it looks like if somebody decides to listen to their intuition, this is where we could end up. Confidence is your key to success, so definitely could be dealing with the Leo. And it's a time to give rather than take. So yeah, this is that selfish energy that somebody might have been in. It's a time to give rather than take. All right, let's get the final messages and advice from the universe. The final messages and advice from the universe. What you mean I only got 17, 18 minutes left to record? What is the final advice? Let me hurry up and get it before my camera cut off. We got the Five of Pentacles coming out. The Seven of Wands coming out. And the Lovers. The Spirit is saying give this a chance. Quit blocking this love connection. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> 